Marvin, a win. What's your thoughts about the whole game? Uh, the win was the important thing. You know, we came up here and we spoke about winning this game of football. We always knew it was going to be very different to the Motherwell game that we played on Tuesday. So first and foremost, the win was all we spoke about beforehand. Um, probably put a little bit too much pressure on ourselves to, to win the game, but you know that's what good teams do. You know, they churn up performances week after week or game after game, and the boys did that today. You know, getting the three points is all we cared about. First half, I thought, was that an indication of the way that you want to play in that first half? Yeah, definitely. And you know, it was extremely windy here as well. Um, so I said to the boys, you know, at half time, you've done you've done well to try and play that way in the wind, etc. And probably forced us to probably play more football anyway. Um, but definitely, you know, that's the way we want to play. We want to keep evolving it. Um, there was some definitely good, some good patterns within that. Uh, the boys did extremely well. Went and won at half time. Probably could have been two or three. Um, and then, you know, in the second half, came out and gave an extremely professional performance. You lost Kyle McClelland, mm-hmm. so played quite a bit of it with, with ten men. Yeah, and, and it makes it a little bit more difficult, doesn't it? Obviously, you know, with that happening, um, you're one nil up with ten men. All of a sudden, someone gets sent off, and then they feel like they're right back into the game. Um, you know, they're attacking with a little bit more energy, probably a little bit more direct. Um, we have to change the shape in order to, you know, get you know, two fullbacks really alongside Paul in, in a back three. Um, but outside them having one chance, you know, the, the players dealt with that. Um, you know, I'm a massive believer in dealing with adversity in football, and, and the players are showing another side to themselves again today because Paul goes up the other end and, and puts the ball in the back of the net and makes it two now. You say it's all about a different dealing with different styles mm-hmm. after the game against Motherwell on Tuesday, and then coming here. It is about dealing different different situations, different scenarios. Yeah, it is. You know, and, and that's the thing. That's how you grow as a team. You know, nothing's going to be perfect. You know, you're not always going to play against a Premier League team where it might be easier to get up for. It shouldn't be, but as footballers, I've been there myself. You know, the bigger the team you play, you feel more up for it. I said to the players today, you know, we have to show massive energy today. We have to start well and we have to win this game of football because nobody cares about the Motherwell result now. You know, it's all about what happens at Elgin and, and about winning this game. The pitch, to be fair, you know, it, it was dry and, and, and it was long, but listen, it, it was easily good enough for us to, to play on and to, you know, at times, yes, the ball was bobbling up, but you deal with that. You know, that's part and parcel of football and we showed a different side to ourselves today, as I said. And after Tuesday night, it was important. You talked about the standards they mm-hmm. set up for themselves on Tuesday. So it was important that they didn't let that slip today. Exactly, because it's easy to let that slip, Sandra. You know, it's easy to come here and, you know, a three and a half hour journey. You know, thankfully the club put us up in a hotel yesterday, so we had a bit of like kind of a bonding session in, in, in the evening. Um, and yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of like a standard slip. You know, same again Tuesday. Now I always say the next game is the biggest game of your career. You know, and, and that's for me, and that's for the players and the staff. Um, so now we know we move on to Tuesday. Now you know today's wins kind of secured for us. The three points are there. We have to recover well um, and get ready to go again Tuesday because no one's going to feel sorry for us. Four points from the two games. Are you? relatively happy with that I know you would want six but yeah no exactly that I, I am relatively happy with that you know as I said you know drawing with, with Motherwell and then losing out on penalties and then you know winning today's game so four points absolutely brilliant but I prefer seven points you know and that's the aim now going into Tuesday's game we have to go there with plenty of energy you know we want to win that game of football we know we need to win that game of football and, and it's how we you know the process between now and then you know how we get to execute that plan he's five they've made a good Good start in the group. Yeah, they are. You know, they're, they're a strong team. You know, it doesn't matter that they're they're in League Two. They're a strong team. Had a strong season last season. They've got a very good manager. And again, it will be you know a different game again. You know, because they'll be coming down to us. You know, wanting to win the game or expecting to win the game as well. You know, they don't they won't care that we're a league above. They'll show us no respect, and nor should they. Um, you know, again, we'll go away now. We'll work on kind of a game plan for Tuesday's game. And as I said, you know, it's about executing that game plan. We're expecting, expecting a tough game. We better be up for it. No Kyle McClelland on Tuesday night, no mm-hmm. Harry Cochran, still the players injured, so a few... What are you saying, get my boots back on? I, so. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to see that. Um, no, listen, we'll be working, you know, I've sent a few messages out already, but, you know, we'll be working on bringing somebody else into, into the building if we can, um, just to help us, maybe over this next week or two weeks. Um, but, you know, there's enough young players in there, you've got two young boys as well that are out of the squad today, so if we don't manage to add any numbers to it, then... You know, so be it. You know, we go forward with what we've got. Um, but yeah, you know, if I can add another player before Tuesday, I will be doing so because, as you said, you know, with those two being suspended, we are slightly short on kind of numbers of, of senior players. It'll be the third game in the space of seven days mm-hmm. after a hard pre season. That'll take a lot out of the players, or is that the kind of thing that. Would you rather do seven 12 hour shifts instead? <laughs> you, know, seven, you know, three games of, of 90 minutes within seven days. That's a, that's a luxury. That's what professional football is for. And there's a people out there working a lot, lot harder than we are, you know, in terms of like manual jobs and everything else and long shifts. And that won't be an excuse. Recover, 
you know, go home and recover. You know, the professional footballers are expected to recover well. Yes, it's going to be it's going to be hard, but that's what we're in the game for. You know, these these kind of big moments where we can go in and win another game of football potentially, and you know, really look up the kind of the league table and you know, can we can we catch the team at the top? And that's always going to have to be the aim. But yeah, three games in seven days is part and parcel of football. It's no surprise to anybody. They're coming quick and fast, and at this stage of the season, what's what's your thoughts of the group stages? Um, in, in terms of. You know, what kind of scheduling? Yeah, no. Listen, I, th- I think it's difficult. I-, I do think it's difficult, and it puts a massive strain on on kind of you know us as being one of the smaller teams in the competition because we don't have the biggest of squads. Um, so there's a massive strain on the players, and you know, there's almost like a player welfare um, issue with it as well. Um, in all seriousness, and you know, looked out there today, there's, there were a few tired legs, and we managed to freshen it up with a few boys coming off the bench. Going down to ten men doesn't help that also. Um, but listen, we know the schedule. Other teams know the schedule. Do do we all agree with it? No. You know, majority of people probably rather it be, you know, a week delayed um, in terms of the League Cup starting. But it, the schedule's a schedule. We just have to get on with it. We can't change that. We just have to deal with it. Um, and there's no excuses at this football club. See, rest up and, and go again Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Rest up. Um, you know, the players will be expected to do a cool down tomorrow, which they'll log. And then, you know, Monday we're in. We'll have a you know, game plan ready for East Fife. We'll go out there and we'll train. Tuesday, I have to execute that game plan. And that game plan at the top of it comes with high energy. So, as you said, you know, three games in seven days won't wash with me if we've not got high energy again. You know, if we need to freshen up, then we will. Um, but we'll be going out that, that game there and giving 100%.